Hello everyone and welcome back to Speedy Typing YT. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a brand new typing website. This was a bit off of my plans for my posting schedule, but this website was literally created like a week ago. Someone notified me about this website, so I'm going to be taking a look at it and basically give my review on the website as a whole. So the website to start off is called monkeytype.com, so monkey and the dash type.com. And basically at the top it's called monkey C monkey type. I think it's, it's pretty cool. There are some other like monkey type and websites, but the name is fine. Um, but it's a very simple layout for the website. Basically you click on this keyboard button here and you get your text. And then what you can do, and it's very customizable, is you can for your time you can do maybe a 15 second test, a 30 second test, a 60 second test, 120 second test, or you can put in your own custom time. So I could do, for example, maybe 500 seconds and then I click OK and then it's set on 500 second test so that's for time or you can click on words and then I can do a 10 word test a 25 word test 50 word test 100 word test 200 word test or I could do a custom test um, it's very very cool the way that I can customize the tests that I do and then punctuation you could also click on punctuation and um, include it so then when you're typing in your words then it's going to throw in a few periods, commas, um, of that kind of stuff. And the layout is not in sentences, it is in word, just random words that is generated by the website. So you can see do, might, take, nation, drain, leave, plan. It's kind of like 10 fast fingers in the same way that you're not typing out a complete sentence, you're just typing out common words that the website randomly generates. So that's, the, that's like the typing test, um, typing test tab on this website. The next tab is just this I symbol, basically talking about about and a bit of help with the website. So the description is, Monkey Type is a minimalistic typing test featuring many test modes and a count system to save your typing speed history and user configurable features like themes, a smooth caret, and more. So I'll get into the um, typing history in your own account a bit more, but that's pretty cool. Okay, keybinds, so you can press tab or enter to just automatically go to the next test. Pretty cool, that's on NitroType as well. I'll open the command line, we're pressing escape, and we get into that a bit later too, and then they, they just have stuff about like words for net accuracy, keys, their bug reports, and then their credits down there. They do have a Discord server too, where they, um, it, it, it's basically like their forum where you can submit any bug problems that you have, and they'll help you out, and currently the editor, or sorry, the developer for this website is very active on the Discord server and on the website, so there's like he's constantly making updates every single day, maybe two updates a day, so it's a very active and very user-friendly website, I would say. Then when you click on this little gear button, which is obviously the settings, on the smooth caret is basically when you're typing, and I'll just quickly show you, this is smooth caret, so you can see how it's kind of gliding between the words, right? Um, but if I wanted to turn that off, and then we go back to our test, you can see how it's kind of a bit more, you know, dashy there. Okay. So that's smooth cred. I like to keep it on and then quick tab mode. So this is just tab at the end of every typing test to go to a separate tab. Your live words for it. So it's off right now. But if I turned it on and for example, I'm typing, you can see your live words for it. That updates not very often, but it's just down there updating as you type. Okay. So I just like to keep that off. Um, freedom mode allows you to delete any word, even if it was typed correctly. So I can turn that on or off. Pretty neat to have. Then you can change the font size when you're typing. Your typing test, I like to keep it at 1.25. You have many languages that they've incorporated into this website. So they have English, they have Dutch, Chinese simplified, English expanded, uh, Polish, French. So a large number of languages, which I find is very inclusive for everyone around the world to use. And this next part is probably my most favorite part about this website, and is that you can customize how the website looks. So you have 8008, you have dots. Mr. Sleeves, Red Samurai, Sarika Dark, I'm not so sure if I'm saying these right, but it is so cool that you can just customize this website to any color and any theme that you want, which is a very unique part about a website. I like to keep on dots because I have the colors up here for these little, little buttons that bring me to different pages. So that's the settings page. Then if I go to my profile page, so I've created a profile, it's pretty simple. I can show you guys in a second how you create a profile, but basically um, it will show you on the color at the top is for the type of test that you're taking. So for example, I took a lot of 10, 10 word tests to try to set a high speed, and it can basically show you how you went, um, how well you did with these races. I got out of 232 words for a 10 word test, or 200 word test, obviously a bit lower down, and then uh, 25 word test, so it's pretty cool, a graph 
for each different type of test that you take, um, the amount of tests taken. So this is kind of like race is a nitro type if you're from nitro type. Favorite test, words 10. So they have different type of tests that, they're for, that they will format. Your average word sprint it based off of all the tests that you've taken, how, your average amount of tests that you've completed once you've started them. And then it shows you your, I think, believe that this is your complete race history. I'm not entirely sure. I guess time with time will tell. But I, I believe that this is your complete race history um, for all the races that you've done overall. So yeah, that is basically all the features about Monkey Type. To sign out, it's very simply enter your name, email, password, verify password, and you sign up um, to create an account. But basically, when you are doing a test, it is very simple. And what I really like about this website is that it is so user friendly with the amount of like te typing tests that you can customize to the specific individual user that you want to be able to type out. I find that the format where you can correct errors if you want to, but you don't have to, it will increase your accuracy if you do, is a very good balance between Nitro Type, which is no, you have to stop and correct them, and Type Racer, which is just if you can keep on typing on, but you're going to have to backspace, here you can choose whether you want to or not, which I think is a very, very um, good typing format, and I find it strikes a very good balance for typing. I was typing on this website. I'll probably release a few more videos of the. I've recorded my high speed, so I'll probably release a video of that later on and just typing. I find this is a very good website to increase your typing speed. So go and check out monkeytype.com. There will be a link down in the description. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of typing content, then please hit the subscribe button. Then please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. And I'll see you in my next video.